The first and most important part of using a throw line is making sure that your line is nice and neat with no knots, no tangles, because a tangled and knotted throw line can waste so much of your time um, when attempting to throw into a tree. So here you can see I've flaked it into a throw cube just to keep it nice and neat. So I'm just tying on the throw line to the throw ball. I'm going to tie a slippery clove hitch. It's really nice and simple to tie. Um, and it's even easier to untie just by pulling this end of the tail here. There are two main techniques uh, for using a throw line. The first that I'm using here is to use one arm and have the line by the side and create a pendulum swing. And then when you're ready, aim and release. The second method is this one and you make like a cradle with the throw line going through the ring so you can hold it with two hands and then create the same pendulum motion um, just having the line go through your legs some people find one more accurate than the other and some people find they can get more height using one technique so it's personal preference So once you've hit your target fork, you can then manipulate the line if you need to, uh, depending on if you're climbing a single line or if you're using a doubled rope system. For doubled rope, you need to isolate the limb, so you would need to man manipulate the throw line so that both legs of the line um, are taking the exact same path down to the ground. Once I've isolated the fork with the throw line, Next I can install my friction saver. The final step is to install the climbing line. So here I'm just tying a clove hitch about 8 to 10 inches from the end of the line. I'm then going to tie about 2 or 3 half hitches on the way up. And then finally at the end, if you're using a splice die or a stitch die, it's good to tie another three or four to really squeeze in the eye just so that it'll pass through the small ring on the friction saver uh, with ease. Once you've finished your climb, you can then use the throw line to safely retrieve the friction saver and this also avoids any issues with the friction saver getting stuck.